back again for the fourth round of the British Wave Sailing Championships. Yes, we're in Gwivian's Beach in Cornwall. This is where the titles will be decided. There's a few players all in the chance for a win. Will Adam Lewis get another title? We'll have to wait and see. It's Starboard Tuck! Quickly, you're about to go warm up, but hey, this is the final round. Uh, looking forward to a bit of onshore. Love it. Bloody love it. Like silk with the sunshine. It's like silk, yeah. With less shore break. Onshore is kind of uh, the thing I've been sailing the most at the moment. So uh, let's see how that all uh, pans out. But it looks like it could be fun. Mate, I, if it, this feels like silt. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's sunny silt. Super onshore. Still in the title race. How is it, Benjamin? I haven't been out yet. I'm such a slow rigger. I think they're about to start the heats, but onshore starboard tack. Oh, we love to. Mazze, you're back at a comp. How is it? Uh, it's uh, difficult. <laughs> starboard tack onshore. You're pretty happy with that. Who have you got? I've got to beat Ruben, first of all, I think. And then after that, I'm not sure. I think it's just look at the first heat to start with. <laughs> See how that goes. I'm in first heat of the second round, so. I'm just getting my gear ready, that's the priority first, and then we'll figure the rest out. I've got the lycra on as well, so we're a good start. There's four of you still in the title race. Um, how are you feeling about that? Do you know what you need? Uh, well, yeah, I think everybody just needs to win, don't they? I mean, that's kind of, if you win, then you're probably going to win the title. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying not to think about it. I just want to try and get through the heat. So I'll be happy if I get the final. I mean, it's a tough, tough draw in Star Attack. There's a lot of other players that come right back in the game. All right, it's Mr. Cox who's got a chance to get some revenge on everyone on a bit of onshore Star Attack. Yeah. Well, it's looking messy out here, and that's what I like. I like making mess. Four seven, you know, some head high, some big ones. Some real nice clean bowls if you got the but kahunas to take them on, because it's a heat chucky one. Wrapped up. Yeah, I did one jump and it was just like, oh no, kill. So uh, are you going to sail? I'll try, I'll try a heat. I'll try and then I'll see, I don't know. Bubble, how was it? It's really hard work, there's so much water moving. I like, literally, if you fall off, if you wipe out on a jump or a wave ride, you're toast. You can't get back up, this kit just goes. To me, despite what it looks probably to everyone else, this looks like fun to me. And if you're having fun, then it's a good thing.
uh, who's managed to get through and how that might affect things. Yeah, we've had some massive upsets. Uh, there's a few people out there that were injuries as well. Ben Prophet's been knocked out just. Andy Bubba Chambers, Chambers getting knocked out early on. But these guys could come back in the double elimination. Adam Lewis, is sported an injury as well. And he's just got through as well. So in this heat, we've currently got uh, Dave Horrocks, Cox, um, Steve Thorpe, who's another local, he's doing really well and he could also take out Adam Lewis. So there we have it, we have a final four in the single elimination. We got Phil Horrocks, he said he just landed his best back loop ever on starboard tack. Uh, Timo Mullin scraped through against me, we both didn't have a good heat, but Timo uh, got the better, so he is in the final. On the second half of the draw, James Cox looks the danger man, he is in his element out there. Can he capture his first event win? Uh, and then we have uh, Adam Lewis obviously going for that British title. He's looking like he's got it sewn up by making his final. He's actually sailing injured. He's hurt his knee in Lewis, so no doubt, this week. Uh, so we've got it coming up. Four man final. Let's get it on. Timo Mullen. Hey. Gotta say, James Koch smashed out the park in about five minutes. I'm totally stoked about that and you know and surprised. I've been trying to trying to get here for quite a long time and I managed to do it today. So that's that's epic. So Coxie has took the single elimination. We are into the double. And we have got a man on the rocks right there. <laughs> To the man on man heats. Two people fighting their way through Ben Prophet and Andy King. <laughs> Disgruntled, he's charging through the double, but it's pretty high tide. It's really high tide. But the weird thing is, look at these things, like sausage fingers. It's like it starts off warm by the end of the heat. That northerly wind's now gone a bit more northerly, and it's pretty freaking cold, dude. Double Andy, double Ben. Yeah. Who's going to be Ben? Ben, Andy, 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 Ben. <laughs> Literally, I just. I don't even want to go back out. <laughs> the four coming through, you know, you have against Andy King, Ben Prophet and Andy Chambers. Yeah, big names. Um, yeah, this is the furthest I've ever got, to be honest. I'm really pleased. Uh, let's try and, uh, try and slay some giants. <laughs> well, the giants are complaining. They think the tide's too high. So you go out there, stay motivated. You might have a chance. Yeah, all right, thanks. <laughs> Andy King, he is the, one of the best jumpers in the world, but he forgot to wave ride earlier, so he has been fighting his way back through the double. We just dispatched 
of Andy Bobble Chambers. Sorry, Bobble. And uh, Ben Page, you were sailing really good. So me and Andy still in. We need to fight it out tomorrow to see who will go against Adam Lewis for that fourth place. You were the one that got away. The one that got away. I've worked it out. If I can come back and beat everybody, I could win British title holder. I don't think it's going to happen. But you'll have to join us tomorrow to see if I can battle my way back. to the British Wave Sailing Tour. Someone said, Hailing. I said, no, we're not in Hailing. We're in Cornwall. No, it's Hailing. It's bloody Hailing. It's not warm. There is wind. It's more cross shore. So the direction is good. The waves are good. The masters, the arms, the women are here. It's on. <laughs> Awesome morning. I say awesome. That it's been up, it's been down. The sun has come out, which is nice. But this morning it was hailing. I think you saw earlier. And we're going to go straight in. I think Ams and the more the Masters are coming up. So uh, straight in. The Masters started early. It was four guys who fought their way to the final. And guess who was in first? The big man, Jim Brookstuffer. guys on a charge, it looks like Justin Dennington has gone through all the way to there, Lee Harvey was looking good, Steve North, South Wales boy, looking good, uh, and I think Arthur Sadler was looking also good, they're on the water now. Well done Steve, made it. Yeah, cheers Alf, I'm amazed, absolutely amazed. My first five minutes I was swimming most of the time, and then managed to get two, one really decent wave at the end, and a sketchy one before that, so I'm really stoked. the day here we're on to the last couple of heats the masters are still going justin denton came all the way through when he got knocked out uh, by an on four mr mark dowson dowson's on a charge the result goes to well, well done, oh, thank told you In the AMS, we've had one man on a charge today. Mike won, certainly. Bing, 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 bing. All the way to the final. Well, I actually did make the final. He ended up third. Here with the comeback king of the AMS fleet. Mike, how is it going? It's, uh, yeah, it's hard work, but it's, it's good out there. The sun's out today. It's a bit warmer, which is lovely. And uh, yeah, it's some difficult to pick a set, which is really what's, I think, picking people apart. Tom Taylor who took him down the New, we New Zealand, uh, New Zealand, <laughs> the Kiwi. He went against uh, Jack Satin in the final. The winner is Jack Pettit. Got well, a victory, and uh, that's done. Done you well. Yeah, so happy with that. Yeah. I think it's probably going to put you top two for the year. Yeah, I think that is second overall in the year, which after Tyree was quite a surprise, really. <laughs> so first place, Jack Pettit. <laughs> in first place, single elimination for ladies, Sarah Kellett. Sarah Hilda in second. get a win that makes it interesting between you and uh, Sarah Hilden. It does indeed yeah it's very exciting. Um, I had a good forward in my heat so I think that helped a lot. Drama has just set in we've just had uh, Sarah Kelly taking the double elimination it means she wins Cornwall but that means it's level in the overalls so they're doing a sail off oh yeah it's on. to the last well the wave is waiting for the rubies and diamonds
quick update, a quite an important update. The British title has been won. It's definitely not been won by me. I just got knocked out by local boy Andy King. Sorry, Ben. Sorry, man. <laughs> Phil did a good tabletop forward and that's what made me go, I've got to do one too. So. <laughs> How's that go? Oh, I love this style of attack business. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. There's decent waves, so I got a really nice one at the beginning, and the second one I kind of bogged it and that threw me off my rhythm a bit, and I was a bit like, oh! But uh, it got better as it went on again, so good. Jumps? Yeah, I got to. So do you know who's through? Horrocks. Horrocks did it, did he? Okay, he's on fire, isn't he? So. <laughs> These are your conditions, dude. This is for your first win. You've got two chances anyway, yeah, so yeah, no. what's your tactics? Uh, I'm just going to go big, man. I'm just going to go go as high as I can, you know, just do what I normally do. I just hope that uh, my hands are up to holding on because they're feeling pretty cold right now. So we're nearly at the end of day number two and we have got the pro men's final coming up. Phil Horrocks is on a stormer, but he's coming up against James Cox, James Cox looking for his first event win. Uh, he's going to have two chances against Phil. So if Phil beats him first time, he'll have another chance. If Coxy wins one of them, he will be the Cornish Wave Classic champion. Why a couple of right ways? Got a nice juicy nugget in front of him. I hope that made him fall in. <laughs> And taking the win in that heat was Phil Horrocks. We have a super final. Oh, Horrocks draws it level 1 1. Coxie still going for that first victory. What's going to happen? Okay, so we've just finished the super final, James Cox versus Phil Horrocks. It's going to come down to the wire, that is for sure. Uh, and just to give us an idea, from the beach, who they think that we've won, we've got the myth, the man, the legend. A one guy that has taken down Philip Costa in a heat. Yes, the one and only Johnny Rock. Johnny Hibbard. <laughs> All right, man. All right, you've been down the beach? You've yep. been got it. Oh, it was close. It's close. I'm, go I'm going to say Coxie got that one. There we go. Coxie. Hello, Second boys. final, dude. How do you reckon? Uh, well, I had a, what felt like a really nice back loop at the beginning, which, which kind of like, which I liked. And then, you know, I had a couple of all right waves. They felt pretty good. Bit of a wet forward, but it was all right. You know, it's, a, it's an all right height, but just a bit wet. And then the end of my heat wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. I wanted to sort of build up. <laughs> you put all that effort in to get that far and then you go and douche it up like a Norbert. And the winner of the 2018 Cornwall Wave Classic is James Cox! <laughs> so yeah, Cornwall has crowned a lot of champs and a few of them new champs. In the Masters, Mark Dowson, Mr. Consistent. He was third up in Tyree, and he was third in Cornwall, and that has given him the overall title in the Masters. Amateurs, and moving up into the pro fleet, Luke 
Yeah, Lou Flastrick is uh, moving up into the pros next year. We're watching you, mate. We're watching you. He's gonna, he's gonna have it not all his own way next year, but he's got some moves. It's gonna be interesting to see how he gets on. Nice job, Tom. In the women, we've got a new champion. Yes, Sarah Kelly won that sail off uh, coming into this event. Sarah Hilda had won Tyree, Kellett was second, and then here, Sarah Kellett won here and Hilda was second, so it's equal. The only way to split them was a sail off. Kellett smoked out a perfect rooster in the middle, and I'm pretty sure that's what got the title. So, new British champion in the ladies this year. In the juice, well, a uh, couple of good events, Tyree and here in Cornwall, and it's the South Walian, yes, uh, Archie North, who uh, looks like he's uh, took the glory. So great news for Archie, and that's going to motivate him definitely for 2019. And it's going to be interesting to see how long it is before he moves up into the amateurs. There we go, that wraps it up for another British tour. 2018 has been an epic. Four amazing results in the pros. British champion, Adam Lewis. Uh, was there any doubt? Well, there was a little bit. <laughs> he didn't have it all his own way this year, but a great tour. Uh, also, AMS, Masters, ladies and youths. We've had some great turnouts this year. The 2018 really has put the British tour back on the map. Uh, for here at Windsurfing TV, we have a massive thank you to the mailing room. So George at the mailing room has been supporting our videos this year. Uh, and we couldn't have done that without his help. So a massive thanks to George and a massive thanks to everyone supporting windsurfing.tv. Uh, we're going away for the winter. We've got the sun out today, but we're going to be somewhere a lot warmer than this. Well, I am anyway. I'm not sure about Alfie. So until the next year, we'll see you in 2019. I saw some big moves from everybody else. There's some big takedowns. Weekend, yeah! You look a little bit like a chicken. Hi, I'm Ben Prophet. I'm super keen about everything. I'm making some coffee, I've got some Medicano, and it's a lemon. Ah, uh, but in the end. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> About 20 years, boys. So, uh, Coxie would like to announce his retirement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>